In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to install Radius Manager in CentOS 7. So in this edition, I will be using the CentOS 7 uh, and it is a 64-bit version. So at first, from the installation media or the ISO file which you have downloaded from the net, uh, install the CentOS operating system. The installation procedure is very simple. Just follow the step-by-step -step instructions of the GUI and you are good to go. So here you select the installation destination that is your disk and configure the networking accordingly. Here for this current installation I will be using static IP address of 192.168.0.220. So I selected static and assigned the IP addresses accordingly. Next you start the installation. Now you need to provide a root password uh, for your CentOS server and you can provide here uh, by clicking on the root password option. Also I will be creating a secondary user account that is uh, on my name and I will be acting as a root user too. Okay then, uh, so now the installation will proceed and after the installation is completed, you need to just reboot the system and you are done. So the installation is uh, completed and we reboot the system. And then uh, we'll log in using the uh, SSH console. First we'll check the IP connectivity and uh, after that we'll log in. And our first step will be to update the repositories of the CentOS system. And the update uh, will take some time depending on your internet speed. After updating is finished and the installations are done, we'll install the text editor that is the nano for editing the configuration files. Okay, just uh, issue the yum install nano and it will be installed in no time. Okay, so the second step and it is a most important step is to disable the AC Linux. Okay, so how can we do that? We will just enter into the configuration mode of AC Linux by issuing the command and then we will change the mode of AC Linux to disabled. That is the simple step and our next step will be disabling the firewall that is uh, the system TCL status firewall D and we will see the current status of the firewall and then we will issue the commands which you can see in my blog and those commands will disable the firewall permanently. Okay. Next we will install the dependencies. What are the dependencies? Dependencies here ranges from uh, PHP, SNMP, the HTTPD, SendMail and many more. All the dependencies uh, that are required I have listed in my blog you can just copy paste them and it will work for you okay so after the dependencies the dependencies installations will also take a couple of minutes to complete because you know, like you need to download some uh, huge amount of files after the dependencies are installed successfully then you need to install the libraries okay so after the installation is completed then we are going to install the RPM for the EPL release that is 7.5 okay so this RPM is required to install some of the dependencies which may not be there in the current repositories which comes uh, which are which is the default in uh, your CentOS 7 version okay so just uh, don't forget to install that EPL 7.5 release RPM and after the installation is completed only proceed to the installation of other dependencies okay then we are going to start the MariaDB service what is MariaDB? MariaDB is nothing but the replacement for MySQL in uh, this uh, CentOS version okay after the service is started we will proceed with the MySQL secure installation okay here 
uh, you will be asked to give some uh, root password for your MySQL database and all. So uh, accordingly, you proceed. Okay. Okay. So we have finished installing the database. Then we'll start the HTTPD service that is our web service. Okay. And we'll enable it to run at the system startup. That is the simple function of system TCL command. Okay. Next, since we have installed PHP MyAdmin as one of our dependencies, we must change some configuration to allow the users to access the PHP MyAdmin console. Okay, for that reason, we need to uh, change the PHP MyAdmin configuration file and comment out the stanza that ends with PHP MyAdmin. This by default prevents you from accessing the PHP MyAdmin system from remote locations. Next, we'll be adding a configuration that will allow us to access the PHP MyAdmin system from any other computers. Okay. So that is done. Then we'll uh, save the configuration and exit. After that, again, we need uh, configuration change and we will just change the authentication system, uh, which is by default cookie based and we'll change that to HTTP based. Okay, so next uh, step is to check which PHP version is currently installed in our CentOS system. So we'll issue the PHP minus V. So as you can see, the current version is PHP 5.4 and this version number is required for the correct installation of the ion cube loaders, which are used to decrypt the radius manager files. Okay, so uh, next we'll download the ion cube loaders from the internet. Uh, just one thing, uh, the uh, download location of the ion cube loaders may change from time to time. So just keep a keep an eye on the ion cube official site for the current download links. Okay. So as the download is completed, then we'll extract the files as usual, and then we'll move into the directory and we'll copy the ion cube loader for the PHP version that is uh, 5.4. Okay, and then we'll move that to the system location that is user local later in this video you will see that i have changed this location to another location for some specific reasons okay then uh, we have found out the location of php.ini and we'll edit and we'll just mention the location of the our inq file okay using the zend underscore extension right Then what we'll do, we'll just restart the HTTPD service and then we'll again issue the PHP minus V that is the version command to see that the ion cube loaders have successfully installed or not. So here we can see the ion cube loaders are present. So the installation of ion cube is successful in this step. Okay. Next we are going to download the free radius and then proceed with the extraction and then the installation of the free radius server. And Keep in mind that the free radius must be downloaded from the DMS of Labs website because that is somehow patched according to DMS of Labs. Okay, then we'll issue the uh, configure command uh, followed by make and make install. Simple installation of free radius server.
So the installation is completed and then we can check and verify the installation after issuing the make install that is the final step for the installation of the free radius server okay okay now we can issue the radius d minus x that is the radius d will uh, the radius server that is the free radius will start in the diagnostic mode so that we can check uh, everything is okay or not so just kindly note that uh, when you issue the command for the first time it may or may not work okay so don't worry just issue the command again that is for the second time and I am sure definitely it will work. See in my case also the first time when I issued the command uh, I got some error message and all but again I issued the command for the second time. There is the same command that is radius d minus x and it worked flawlessly. Okay see the ready to process request means it is successful. Okay. Now we enter the uh, SQL console and we will be creating some tables, uh, sorry, some databases and then be creating some users along with their passwords and grant some specific permission for those users, okay. So I have just, uh, just copy paste the command from my blog and it will be working in no time, okay. Then just uh, press uh, type exit and exit from the SQL console and our next step is to download Radius Manager from the DMS of Labs website. You can download it from the uh, DMS of Labs site or you can upload it from uh, to your cloud services and then you can download it whatever suits your need. Okay after the download is completed you need to extract the files and then enter the radius manager directory give the install.sh uh, permission of 777 so you need to give the proper permission of sorry 755 and uh, then you start the installation process the installation process is very simple just follow the step by step guideline and it will be installed in no time done the installation is so simple next you need to just uh, copy the uh, lic.txt and the mod.txt into the radius manager directory that is the uh, web directory which will be i think in the var slash www folder in your centos system if you do not copy the license files there the system will not work for you not not for anyone actually okay just uh, so just copy the license files and you are done with the installation okay the I have copied the license file to the directory now let's check if it works or not uh, it's 220 slash radius manager slash admin.php okay so we are getting an error that is the blank page error so for that we need to check the apache access log and the error log so in the apache error log we are getting some permission denied message for the ion cube loader so uh, from this message uh, we can understand that the permission that is the chmod value of the ion cube loader is incorrect and that's why the permission is not granted so what we need to do is at first we need to change the location of the ion cube file and we are going to change it in the default directory for the php modules then what we are going to do is we need to just move the ion cube file which we have kept in the slash user slash local uh, directory to the default location for the php modules files and then assign a chmod 777 to that particular ion cube file so this step is very simple just follow it correctly okay after that you need to restart the system after before that you just uh, restart the HTTPD service ok after you issue the reboot command then again you go to your browser and just admin.php do a refresh and see it works perfectly 
So here uh, you can just log in using your uh, default admin and four ones. So it will be login successfully both for the admin and the user uh, sections and and that is it. So if you get blank page there are some possibilities that is first possibility is that you have a invalid license file that is the LIC file and the mod file. You have second possibility is you have invalid INCube loader for your PHP version that is incompatible versions. Third possibility is that your INCube files are not properly permission granted. So uh, they are not getting the proper permission to execute and thus they are generating an error. Fourth possibility is your PHP memory limit which you can change from the uh, php.ini file. Okay, these are the possibilities. Uh, see, uh, PHP MyAdmin also works fine. Thanks for watching.